it looks like a war between Russia and Ukraine may be coming. Uh, I think there'll come a war. And I also think it's going to be large scale. But what do I know? Uh, I may be wrong. Uh, so that's why I put a date marker on the screen. That way, if nothing happens, I can always excuse my predictions with later developments. But I also think the war is still some weeks away. Uh, so how will we know when the war is coming? Here's a list of three things that I think we should look out for in the coming weeks. In this video, I want to mention three things that I think we should look out for as indicators that Russia may start a war with Ukraine within days rather than weeks. And of course, one could also point to other things, but these are just the things that I decided to include. The first one is increased Russian military activity in the Baltic Sea. There are several reasons why I think uh, this will be a good warning sign about a war. First, Ukraine is not very far from the Baltic Sea, and several of NATO's most ferocious critics of Russia and supporters of Ukraine have a coastline to the Baltic Sea. And I'm thinking here specifically about Poland, Lithuania, and Latvia and Estonia. And, and Poland even has a land border to Ukraine. Russia and Belarus also seem to be genuinely concerned that NATO could up a, open um, like a second front into Belarus as a way to support Ukraine. Uh, so they will want to send some very clear threats to NATO and to the Baltic countries about not to interfere. Second, uh, Russia has Kaliningrad in the Baltic region. And from a Russian perspective, Kaliningrad is a vulnerability that they need to defend. Um, if you're interested in hearing more about the military role of Kaliningrad, you can watch um, uh, this interview uh, that I did with Jonas Shilien from FOI about it. Um, so again, Russia will probably increase the military activity around Kaliningrad before an invasion of Ukraine, so NATO doesn't get any ideas about opening up a second front there. Um, and finally, the Baltic Sea is a good indicator of the level of tensions because NATO and Russian ships are in direct interaction with each other. Um, in the Black Sea, the situation is harder to measure because the level of tensions is, is pretty much high all the time. And, and also because the Montreux Convention uh, set some limits on, on NATO's presence in the Black Sea. I also have a video about, uh, about that if you want to know more about the Montreux Convention. Um, so that's why I will follow Russian activity in the Baltic Sea in the coming weeks as an indicator of how close we are to a war in Ukraine. If we start seeing naval exercises, uh, aggressive flying with aircraft, violations of airspace, missile drills that close off large area of the Baltic Sea, uh, harassment of Western warships and things like that, then that is an indication that a war in Ukraine is closer. The second thing I will look out for is coverage of the situation in the Russian media. Uh, if you look at uh, Russian news today, it's striking that everything is pretty much business as usual. There is very little coverage of Ukraine, and that is both in, in the mainstream media, but also in the specialized defense press. But if Russia is to engage in a large war in Ukraine, uh, then they will have to engage the public. So I will look for a change in the media coverage. And that leads to the third thing that I will mention here, namely that Russia will need um, a pretext for a war. So we should look out for events that can justify a Russian intervention. And this could be many things, but uh, one of the things that have been mentioned is the possibility of a, a false flag operation where uh, Russia essentially stages an attack on themselves and, and this gives a reason to send in their military. Uh, this is a possibility that the, uh, the US government has also mentioned as uh, an official concern. And uh, Russia has repeatedly explained that they are concerned about the presence of NATO soldiers in Ukraine right on their borders. Um, I personally have a hard time figuring out what NATO soldiers they're talking about, um, but they talk about them quite a bit. Um, and if they could stage some kind of attack on themselves by these NATO soldiers, uh, 
then that would be consistent with the messages that they've been sending so far. Um, so if something like that happens or something else that would provide a good uh, pretext, then it should definitely be taken as an indication that a war can be close. So there you go. Uh, three things uh, to look out for in the coming weeks as indications that a war in Ukraine may be underway. I hope you found it useful and uh, I will see you again next time.